Welcome to the Bobby Wallace Show. Here are your hosts, Coach Bobby Wallace and Jeff Hodges. Welcome to the Bobby Wallace Show. We're here at Brawley Stadium where the UNA Lions just defeated Shorter 45 to seven. With the win, UNA moves into a tie for the Gulf South Conference lead at five and one. And Coach Wallace, there were certainly a few miscues and some mistakes tonight, but your offense rolled up 620 yards. A few uh, turnovers kind of hurt your scoring, but still put up 45. But defensively, you gave up 120 yards total defense. Didn't allow Shorter to complete a pass. Really a great effort by your defense. Well, it was. It was a great uh, effort by everybody. It's just the inconsistencies on offense. Uh, being the turnovers and the, some uh, penalties that we probably overcame most of them. You know, we'd get uh, a, a holding penalty, but then we'd make a first down uh, steal and, and score. So, but the inconsistencies could come back and hurt us if we don't correct them. And uh, defensively, it was consistency. It was playing great. It was running the ball. It was being disciplined. Uh, probably the best effort on defense that we've had since in the last three years. And uh, kicking game. Same thing, inconsistency. We, we kick a 54-yard field goal, uh, which is outstanding. The kickoff coverage was great. And then we give them a touchdown by snapping a high snap, and, and then we, don't, we don't, don't, aren't able to field it, and then we don't get it out of the end zone to just at least give them just a safety. So, uh, but he was trying. I mean, he just didn't get it done. And, uh, but, uh, you know, those are the kind of plays that we can't have, can't have the turnovers. And a loop, great game. Throwing for 300 and something yards, and but the bottom, but he still threw one of those up for grabs when he should have just thrown it out of bounds. So I mean, he's got to quit doing that. Uh, and I'm not saying he's doing it a lot now. He's done it a lot over the last couple of years, uh, and a lot being three or four times. But uh, you know, that's not a good habit to be in. Just throw the ball out of bounds, and don't. I didn't even want him to get hit. So uh, so you know, it's hard to be satisfied, even though the effort by the players was fantastic. The uh, the the effort was great. They came to play and they did a good job. And overall, you knew you needed the win more than anything. Two weeks left, you knew you could control your own destiny with a couple of wins. You've got one of those out of the way now. Well, that's right. And you know, uh, you know, I, I hope I, I hope to you know, as soon as by the time this is on the air, we have forgotten about shorter. Uh, we've got a short week. Get ready for West Alabama, which I know we'll talk about later. But uh, uh, it's very important to focus on just that one game and uh, not worry about anything else afterwards. UNA Lions with a 45 to seven win over Shorter and we'll have first half highlights for you when we come back. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by TNT Fireworks, the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail and the Marriott of the Shoals Hotel and Spa and by Little Steve's. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II National Championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf. The Marriott Shoals Hotel and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa. Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. When you support Little Steve's Convenience Stores, you're supporting small American family-owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Little Steve's, you're saying, we believe in America. Little Steve's, six locations in Florence, Pine Street, Florence Boulevard, at the corner of Helton Drive and Cox Creek Parkway, Cloverdale Road, Petersville, Woodward Avenue, and Muscle Shoals, and Jackson Highway in Sheffield. Little Steve's, believe in America.
Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. The UNA Lions going to put up a 24 to 7 lead at halftime. You come out with a quick 17 to nothing lead, but there were still some turnovers mixed in there, and then a miscue on special teams. But overall, a good first half, getting a 24 to 7 lead. Well, you got to feel comfortable when the defense is playing the way they are. The only thing is, you know, their offense scares you to death because they're just one missed assignment, not taking the quarterback, one deep throw from scoring. You know, that's, they hit you on big plays. Uh, even though they they kind of grind the ball and then bangers a big play, so but we stay consistent on defense. And you know, if I knew we were going to continue to do that all night long, I mean, you know, ten to nothing would have been good enough. Uh, but the bottom line is, uh, uh, we've stayed consistent and played well on defense. Offensively, we had enough firepower. I mean, we got so many skilled athletes that can make things happen. Uh, three running backs, you know, quarterbacks, uh, uh, I think 10 wide outs play. And, you know, it's, uh, uh, you know, somebody different all the time, making a big play on offense, and we did that tonight. And that's what overcame a lot of our mistakes that we've got to correct. If we want to be the kind of team that we're capable of being, uh, which we're going to need to be, or it's going to be a shorter season than we want also. So. Uh, We've got to really stress that in the next few days and uh, correct those mistakes for the next week. Here come your first half highlights right now. UNA going up 24 to seven in the first half. Harper in motion across, will stop, blocks the play. Here's uh, Dre Hall on a deep post. Hall will catch the ball at about the 47 yard line. Pickup of seven on first down, second down three. Empty backfield for Wingo. Now Thompson will come toward him, fakes to Lamonte. Diamond Simmons in front of him, but he passes down the field, has a receiver. All right, single receiver left. Wingo straight back, looks to his right, fires the ball down, has Lee Mayhall open in the end zone, but out of the end zone at the 41. That'll make it a 51-yard try for Taylor Pontius. The kick is up. It is a good snap by Loveless. The kick is up. It is good. 51-yard field goal from Taylor Pontius. 551. We have a score. UNA three, shorter zero. The game has a wide out to the far side. Motion to the right side, Dotson play action, drop straight back under pressure and is sacked. And the line of scrimmage will be the 26 yard line of shorter back at the UNA 40 is Filbert Marshall. The kick will come to Filbert, will hit short of Filbert, lets it bounce, hits at about the 43, takes a shorter bounce and roll and will be marked down slot to the right side. Here goes Kimball up in the middle, finds a gash in the middle and Taj Kimball with his first run of the game. Simmons now to the left and moves to the right shoulder of Wingo. Wingo with a quick pass out, DeAndre Hall. Both safeties are back for shorter, quick pass out. There is number 81, Corey Jones. He's wide open down on the 10 yard line. Here's Lamonte Thompson up the middle, finds a big gash, and Lamonte will go all the way in and score a touchdown for UNA, a 15-yard run. Great blocking again right up the middle. Lamonte Thompson, touchdown, UNA. What a run. Wingo. Play action, Wingo looks down the middle, now throws it out deep to the left side, has Dre Hall on the sidelines. Dre Hall came down with a football inbounds. Wingo now straight back under some pressure, rolls forward, is going to tuck it up, runs it across the 20, down inside the 20 yard line. Go out of the Wildcat again. Lamonte Thompson with a direct snap, hands off to Diamond Simmons, sweep around the right side. Diamond Simmons will cut it up inside and score another UNA touchdown. Diamond Simmons on the five yard run. Ending back at his own 30 yard line is Kendarius Dukes as the snap gets past. Taylor Pontius and Pontius trying to kick the ball out of the back of the end zone. It's still loose back there and covered up by Shorter. Turn it over or special teams make it a bad play. Kickoff goes all the way back to Jarrett Smith. Smith will catch the football run up the right side, crosses the 30 yard line. Simmons to his right shoulder. Now Simmons in motion to the near sidelines. Wingo straight back under pressure will be caught and sacked in for the injured Lamonte Thompson. In the backfield, Wingo straight back, has some pressure again, but does find a sliding Corey Jones. A ton of playing time, but when he does, he makes big plays. Quick pass out, Dre Hall will catch it on little crossing pattern at the 50-yard line. 
Diamond Simmons in to the left shoulder of Wingo. Wingo with the snap straight back, has a receiver open on the far side. Two outs to the left side, one to the far side. Here's the fake on the sweep to Simmons, and Luke Wingo will take the football right up the middle, three-yard line. Great blocking, especially by Stephen Ed Evans, leading the way there for Wingo. Play action, quick pass. Dre Hall with a catch, tries to cut it back up in the middle. Diamond Simmons with a handoff, goes around right in, has some running room. Diamond Simmons cuts it back up at the numbers, and he'll get down inside the 10. Next man up, Hagen Scott, or excuse me, Eric Ballou in there blocking, doing a great job filling in for Lee Mayhall. Here goes Simmons. No, he uh, does Wingo, fakes the speed sweep to the left, runs it right up the middle, and Luke Wingo into the end zone for the UNA touchdown. That is a great answer to the shorter touchdown. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser and by Southern Fastening. What's going on up there? Definitely home, Chuck. This is all for you. Oh. Are you serious? <laughs> First, there was hammer and nail. Then air-powered pneumatics, followed by cordless tools, both gas and battery powered. Now, from Senco, the leader in the power fastening industry, there is Fusion Technology. Power fastening with no gas, no hose, no competition. Senco's Fusion Technology creates the first true cordless pneumatic nailers. Five distribution centers in the southeast as a Southern Fastening Systems representative nearby to serve you. Southern Fastening Systems and Senco Brands, a team that can be beat. Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. Coach Wallace, the Lions up 24-7 at the half, and as you've done so many times this season, you came out, took the second half kickoff, and drove right down and scored, and I think that may have kind of put the game away then, but you had some injuries, some other things happened in the second half that made it a, a little more stressful than you would have liked. Well, it, it did. Uh, you know, first of all, the, the first drive, we challenged them at halftime to uh, not worry about the score, not worry about anything that we had done, come out and you know, we've got to be cons come, become consistent, and we, we had 30 minutes to work on it. But they came out and did a great job there on that first drive. And uh, that was outstanding. Uh, but, you know, then we made a few mistakes later on in the half. Uh, but overall, it was a great half. We did lose Lee Mayhall, uh, which, uh, you know, we'll all pray for. And, uh, he, you know, he d dislocated his foot. Uh, Doc got it right back in place out there on the field, uh, which relieved the pain which he was in. And, uh, and he's going to be fine. I mean, you know, fine being, you know, next fall. <laughs> but. Uh, but we're gonna miss him because he's a very intricate part of our team, and you could tell how he's kind of a fan favorite, a play, you know, the team's favorite because of the way the people reacted, and uh, you know that's the kind of person he is. 4.0 student, uh, you know, just a great guy. You and Lions gonna shut out shorter in the second half and put up 21 points of its own. Here come the second half highlights right now. Jarrett Smith, Philbert Marshall. Smith closest to us back for UNA. The ball will go to Philbert Marshall. He comes up to the 10, catches the football on the far side, comes back across the field, finds a little zone there, cuts it up at about the hash mark. In the first half, 14 to 17 through the air. Very uh, good on the execution part there. Diamond Simmons in the backfield. Wingo back, finds Corey Jones on this left side. Jones will make the catch. Taj Kimball in now at running back to the left shoulder of Wingo. Turns, hands off to Kimball. Kimball makes one man miss at the line of scrimmage. Dances forward all the way out to the 44-yard line. Wingo with a snap from Rod Winston back. No pressure there, steps forward now. Finds a receiver, Dre Hall open. Wingo with a snap. Hands off, Diamond Simmons around left end, has some running room, chopped down, hit at the 35-yard line. Empty backfield for Wingo, third down two. Now here comes motion is Diamond Simmons. Wingo will fake it to him. Wingo into the line of scrimmage, makes one man miss, dances forward all the way into and inside of the 25-yard line. Taj Kimball to the right shoulder of Wingo. 
Kimball picks up a block, has a man wide open in the far corner of the end zone. Delvon Carpenter, the defender fell down at the five yard line. Delvon Carpenter with the easy catch in the end zone. Luke Wingo was just so spectacular on that first drive. Touchdown, UNA. Hard line. Dotson will pitch it back to Bryant. Bryant stops, tries to throw a pass. His arm is hit, and Stephen Ridge dropped an interception. Oh, it came down, hit him in a bad spot. <laughs> and <laughs> right between the two and the zero. Play sheets mm -hmm. here. Bryant with the handoff will go straight ahead on second and 10. For the shorter Hawks as we're inside a minute remaining in this third quarter. The quarterback Dotson under pressure, rolls to his right, fires the ball out, misses his receiver on the sidelines. UNA's number one, Philbert Marshall, stands back inside his own 25 yard line. Good snap, limited pressure, nice sailing kick. Philbert moves to his right, catches it at the 20, makes the first man miss, gets to about the 23 yard line. Wingo turns, hands off to Taj Kimball. Kimball makes a man Taj miss at the Kimball line of scrimmage and then just powers forward over the 25. Jacob Thomas now in at quarterback for UNA inside handoff to number five, Diamond Simmons. There is at wide receiver. Thomas will hand the ball off to Taj Kimball going left. Kimball gets the corner is hit and knocked out of bounds into a bench over there. Thomas rolls, now hands the ball to Diamond Simmons. Simmons finds a seam, he's gone! 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, five, touchdown, Diamond Simmons. The hole was open, he threw his head back. Touchdown, UNA! I've been waiting for that for a while. Wow. Diamond Simmons shows speed. off his speed. UNA already sitting on 437 total yards of offense. Now 524. Five times in this game, what kind of game would it have turned into? It had been a bigger blowout quicker. Inside handoff to the fullback, number 36. Defensive line for UNA is much larger. This is not a very big, as we have seen other schools' offensive line. The sna snap to Dotson. Dotson's going to be swarmed under at the line of scrimmage in there very quickly. Running backs, one behind one to the right side. Now Dotson tries to find a receiver on the right side and fourth down. Well, we knew the corner play has definitely been the strongest, uh, you know, position on the team. Good kick, Philbert Marshall moves up, signals four and makes a fair catch. Jacob Thomas in, hands the ball up the middle to Taj Kimball. Kimball explodes out for nine yards. Play action, Thomas rolls right. Nothing there, dances around, makes one man miss, dives forward across the 50. Thomas with the fake. Takes the ball up, turns it up into the line of scrimmage at the seven yard line. Pressure, Pontius with a high floating kick. Dukes moves up, fumbles oh. the football. The ball hit him in the arms. He fumbled the football right into the hands of Darius Jones of UNA. Presented by Jerry Damson Honda in Florence. Thomas with a high snap, brings it down, goes left, throws the ball out, has a receiver in the far corner. Both right of quarterback. And he hands off, Thomas hands off to Taj Kimball right up the gut. For the Lions. Swoops now in at fullback. Kimball again up the middle as the offensive line gets a good push. Lawrence Carmichael is actually back in there, and he is at center as Thomas avoids one guy in the backfield, rolls left, fires it into the end zone, has a receiver open in the end zone. Jared Smith. Jacob Thomas to Jared Smith in the end zone. Jacob Thomas is a playmaker. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by Here's the game plan at the all-new University Toyota. No trick plays, no razzle-dazzle. Just straight-up savings on hundreds of new Toyotas. Like new Corollas from $159 a month. New Camrys, $189 a month. Go long with no payments until next year. Or try one before you buy one with Toyota Rent-A-Car. 
Score a great deal during the Game Plan for Savings event at the all-new University Toyota. Formerly Jim Bishop Toyota. New name, same familiar faces. Hi, I'm Bobby Wallace, and I would like to invite you to shop with my friends at Hometown Market, located in the Seven Point Shopping Center in Florence. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs with a large selection of groceries, fresh fruits, and vegetables at their everyday low prices. Their meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by the qualified meat cutters. Look for the other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Decatur, Hartzell, and Aniana. Hometown Market, 1421 North Wood Avenue in the Seven Point Shopping Center. TVA Community Credit Union is proudly open to the entire community, offering unequaled service and convenience. They are the TVA Community Credit Union, and they make you feel like you're part of the community, part of the family. Customer service is great. I mean, they're, they're great with my wife and I and my daughter. We bought all of our houses, all of our cars, everything through them. With a little one running around, I don't have a lot of time, so it's real simple just to pull my mobile up and go straight to the site and check my account. I recommend them all the time, to be honest with you. For one, I mean, their rates are great. Try to work with you to get you the lowest rates, to get you where you need to be, to set you up for the future. Don't feel like I'm a number at all. I feel like I'm a part of the family. From mobile banking to the latest platform in online banking, we make managing your financing fast and easy. Our members are the owners of our credit union, so there are no high-priced stockholders to pay, allowing us to give our members totally free accounts and amazing loan rates. TVA Community Credit Union, everybody's credit union. Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. We're here with our Montague's Frostbite player of the game, running back Diamond Simmons. And Diamond, a great night tonight, 118 yards on six carries. You also had uh, several catches for some yards, but uh, you really picked up the offense in the second half, especially with that 76-yard touchdown run. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, you know what? It's all about the team. It's nothing about me. It's all about me loving the team. And uh, I really felt like, you know, at the end of the game, the team really realized that it wasn't like, you know, oh, it's all about me. It's about, you know, playing for them. And uh, I just love the team. I love Coach Wallace. I love all the coaches. And uh, that's, what, that's what it's all about. You got to like playing shorter in your freshman uh, year. You had 100 yards over against shorter in, on your first uh, collegiate games. And then to be able to do it again here at Brawley Stadium has got to be a good feeling for you. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a great feeling, you know, just looking back and just like, hey, man, just looking at the memories and looking at it now. You know, it's, it's awesome. You know, it, just be able to step on the field and just like, just, you know, play for God is very awesome. What's it like to be a part of this backfield? You're back there with Lamonte Thompson, with Taj Kimball, a great group of running backs, and y'all really excelled for the Lions this season. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. We, the three backs, man, we just just love each other man we love just hanging out getting each other better you know uh just competing we love the you know we got each other back you know every anything that you know come across us be like hey man bam 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 you you know that's what we need to work on and you know just getting each other better and just loving each other congratulations to our Montague's frostbite player of the game diamond simmons the bobby wallace show is brought to you by tva community credit union and by montague's and frostbite TVA Community Credit Union is proudly open to the entire community, offering unequaled service and convenience. They are the TVA Community Credit Union, and they make you feel like you're part of the community, part of the family. Customer service is great. I mean, they're, they're great with my wife and I and my daughter. We bought all of our houses, all of our cars, everything through them. With a little one running around, I don't have a lot of time, so it's real simple just to pull my mobile up and go straight to the site and check my account. I recommend them all the time, to be honest with you. For one, I mean, their rates are great. Try to work with you to get you the lowest rates, to get you where you need to be, to set you up for the future. Don't feel like I'm a number at all. I feel like I'm a part of the family. From mobile banking to the latest platform in online banking, we make managing your financing fast and and easy. Our members are the owners of our credit union, so there are no high-priced stockholders to pay, allowing us to give our members totally free accounts and amazing loan rates. TVA Community Credit Union, everybody's credit union. Here's the game plan at the all-new University Toyota. No trick plays, no razzle-dazzle. Just straight-up savings on hundreds of new Toyotas. Like new Corollas from $159 a month. New Camrys, $189 a month. Go long with no payments until next year. Or try one before you buy one with Toyota Rent-A-Car. Score a great deal during the game plan for savings event at the all-new University Toyota. Formerly Jim Bishop Toyota. New name, same familiar faces.
football and food go together. Montague's menu offers a variety of game day edibles, like the cheesesteak, specialty burgers, the specialty Reuben, and even Polish dogs. For the health conscious, there's a salad menu too. Montague's, corner of Pine and Chisholm in Florence. Frostbite Frozen Treats, just blocks from the stadium, offers a unique experience. Next to Montague's, at the corner of Pine and Chisholm, it's customizable frozen yogurt. When the cup is full, the toppings are close by, and then it's just a matter of weighing and paying. Frostbite, next to Montague's and on Facebook. Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. Coach Wallace, UNA Lions put up their best game statistically on offense uh, tonight. 620 yards against Shorter. A good balance, 275 rushing, over 300 passing. So that's definitely what you want late in the season, getting ready to go into the playoffs, have a nice balance like that. Oh, we did, I mean, we had a great game by Luke uh, throwing the football. I thought it was very accurate, except when he was running to his left, he threw a few flutters. But, uh, and then made the bad mistake. Both times, all three were running to his left. But everything else was just right on the money. Receivers did a good job catching it. Uh, the backs ran, they all complement each other so well. You know, uh, Diamond runs outside with unbelievable speed, the best. And then uh, Todd's kind of a between the tackle guy and then Lamonte can do a little of both. And they all three pass protect. They all three catch a football out of the backfield. So got a lot of weapons and that's great. And uh, you know, so you know, it's good to see them complement each other. I say early in the season, we talked a lot about depth. Yeah, depth at quarterback, depth at running back, and depth at receiver. And all of it's been needed at this point in the <laughs> season. Those are the guys that are really stepping up for you. Yeah, no, it is. I'm not jinxing anybody, but it is amazing how sometimes you know a lot of the injuries happen on one side of the ball. And uh, offensively, you know, we've lost Jess Cooper. We've now we've lost uh, Lee, and uh, we lost uh, Jacob Tucker which, you know, some key players. And, uh, you know, so that's, and that's three guys on offense that I can think off the top of my head and, uh, you know, lose them for the season. But, uh, you know, people stepped up. And uh, somebody's going to have to step up for Lee now. We've got plenty of capable guys to do it, and uh, hopefully they will. Lions going to West Alabama for the final regular season game, a short week, Thursday night game down there. Now, West Alabama, a very good ball club again this season. Well, I mean, that's, they've been good now for uh, see, going on two th since 2009, I think the year before. My next to last year, we made the playoffs. Uh, the next year, we were 7-4. Uh, and four. Uh, Then Will took over, and they, they made the playoffs, every, you know, I think all three years. And uh, so they haven't had a losing record, you know, after having so many for so long. So they're going to be fighting to be sure they don't have a losing record. It's going to be a very tough game, tough place to play. And... Uh, you know, their little quarterback is just uh, unbelievable. I mean, he's a great, great player, and somehow we got to contain him. And you know what's on the line? A win gets you a share of the Gulf South Conference Championship and puts you into the Division II playoffs. Well, absolutely, and that, that championship is the main thing. Thanks for being with us. Hope to see you down in West Alabama, UNA playing on Thursday night, November 13th. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching The Bobby Wallace Show. Please join us again next Sunday at 630.